hello and welcome to the channel today in this video i will show you how to design this simple model from start cut com site so here we go to free cut and create a new document and also it part design workbench create body and a new sketch in xy plane and what we'll do here is to draw a rounded rectangle geometry so here we select rounded rectangle tool and we draw we draw this rectangle and now we select this symmetric constraint and we select these two points of this rectangle and now this origin point okay and next here we we set the dimension for this rectangle here so we select this tool and now this arc here and we'll set a radius of 10 millimeters okay and next we select this horizontal distance tool and here we see 150 for this horizontal dimension so we select this point here and this point and we set 150 and now select this horizontal distance tool and now these two points and here we'll set 85 millimeters and now and now we'll leave this sketch here press home and go to pad tool the length of this pad here will be here we see 16 so we set 16 and next select this space here and create a new sketch and what we'll do here is to select this tool and we extra this edge and this edge and next we drew a cycle and we set the diameter of this cycle to let's see here okay here we have this dimension so we change here to 11 and now here we'll set the horizontal and vertical dimension for this cycle so here we have 15 and we have 15 for the horizontal distance so we'll select this horizontal distance tool and now this point here and this point and we set 15 and now the vertical dimension here will be 15 and now we we'll leave this sketch here and we go to pocket tool we set true goal and ok and now we go to model and select this pocket here and select this mold transform tool print click on mouse here and go to this option mirror transformation and okay print click on mouse again and go to this option and what we'll do here is to change here we'll change the plane to x plane Okay, so now we have this click ok and now what we'll do here is to create this part here so here we create a new sketch in x plane and now here we select this centered rectangle tool and we draw this rectangle and now we'll set the vertical and the horizontal dimension for this rectangle here so okay here we have 8 and we have this vertical dimension here so we select this tool and for this line here we set 9 and for this line here we set 8 and now leave this sketch and we go to this pad tool set symmetric to plane and the length here will set 85 millimeters okay and now we have this and what we'll do next is to create this cylinder here so here we go to additive filters and we select this additive cylinder and we select xy plane and here we'll set the radius and the height of the cylinder so let's go to this drink page and here we see a diameter of 52 for the cylinder here so what we'll do here is to okay the radius here will be the half of this 
the mission here and the height here will set 85 millimeters so click enter and we you see this and what we'll do next is to create this cylinder here so to do this we'll create a new sketch in exit plane switch to section view and select cycle tool and do this cycle we constrain the diameter of this cycle here to let's see in this string page okay here we see a diameter of 44 so we set 44 here and now we select this vertical distance tool and here we see this distance 55 so what to do here is to first select this tool here and extract this edge and now we select this vertical distance tool select this point and now this point and you said 55 okay and now leave this sketch here and go to pad tool and the length of this pad here will set okay here we have 45 millimeters this dimension here and click okay and next here we'll draw this part so here we create a new sketch in axi plane again and now switch to section view and next what we'll do is to select this tool here and we extra this edge here this edge and this edge and now we select this polline tool click in this point here and this point and now in this line here and draw this horizontal line now this vertical line and this horizontal line and now click in this point okay and now we'll set the dimension of the sketch okay so here we have this dimension here 45 so here we select this tool and extract this edge here now select this vertical distance tool click on this point and now this point and you set here will set a dimension of 45 okay and now here we'll set this dimension here so what to do here is to select this horizontal distance tool and now these two points and we set 12 okay and the distance between these two points here we can set okay here we don't have this dimension so we can set one millimeters and now leave this sketch here and go to pad tool set smart to plane and the length of this pad here will set 10 millimeters we have here 10 millimeters so here click ok and next here we'll create this pocket here to create this pocket we go to these features here and click on this arrow and we select this cylinder here and here we select XY plane and now here we'll change the radius to okay here in this top view we can see 45 millimeters so we change here to the half of 45 millimeters and the height here will set 15 millimeters so change here to 15 and okay okay sorry we go to this cylinder here okay here I'll set flip sides okay what to do here is to click on this button here and select this face and now here we'll check this option flip sides okay and the length of the height of this cylinder will be 15 it's okay so click ok and now we have this pocket here and next we click again in this tool and what to do here is to select 
I will select this face here and now near inertial CS and you will change the radius to to the half of 35 and the height here will set 85 millimeters this dimension here and okay okay sorry we go to this cylinder here and here we can set 100 and now we have this and what we'll do next is to create this pocket here so here we select this here we create a new sketch in axi plane and now here we select this tool and extract this edge here and switch to section view and what to do here is to select this cycle tool and draw a cycle in the center point here and now we select this I will select this center rectangle tool, click in this vertical line and draw this rectangle and next select this trim tool and trim this arc here and now these two lines and now we delete this line here and next we select this match constraint and you set this two points merge to this vertical line and now here we set the distance between these two points here to 10 millimeters okay and the edge of these arc here will set the half of this dimension here so is 12 and now leave this sketch and we go to pocket tool Okay, he will set true goal and reverse it. So now we have this and now click OK. And next here we'll do this fillet operation here. So the value of this fillet is 3 millimeters. So here we select this edge and we go to fillet tool. We change the radius here to 3 millimeters and now we click in this add button and we add these edges. Okay, we can change the result to wireframe. So now it's easy to select the edges. Okay, and now click. Okay, and now we come back to flat lines, and here we see this flat operation. Let's see this isometric view. Here we have these fillets here. So we go to model and double click on this fillet here, and we click on this add button, and now we add this edge. Click here and okay. Okay, we remove this edge here, click on this edge button again, and now we add. Okay, we change the draw style here to wireframe again, and we add this edge and this edge here. And now this edge and this edge, and now we go back to flat lines and click on this edge button. And now we have this. So let's try to We'll add this edge too. Okay, click again and add this edge here. And now we have this. Click again and let's try to add this edge here. We change to wireframe and click on this edge and now this edge here. And next these two edges. And now let's come back to flat lines and click on this add button. And here we can see that the fillet is not OK. 
okay we don't see the results here so what to do is to click on this remove button and we remove this and here we remove these this edge here and these two edges and click OK and now we we'll come back to flat lines and now we have this part and as you can see we finished the design of this model okay you can try to let these edges here okay 